Okay, over here I'm going to explain uh, how these controls work. This is the SR1. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm just going to briefly explain how to work with the machine very roughly. So the ideal settings is this right here. That's the ideal settings. Uh, a lot of people will put this one here between the 6 and 3. What this does, it controls the shaft. This is the, sh the part where it's going to push the meat inwards. So it'll control how fast this moves, either small or fast. Okay, the ideal, normally, a lot of people w prefer it this way. This controller here, what it does, it uh, controls the pressure. So for an example, if there is product halfway and the shaft will start really quick and then when it feels the product that's when the pressure starts okay the ideal that's when the blade starts so we're going to do that again when it resets so right now it's pushing when it hits the end it retracts okay so now let's say at that setting you're gonna see how the shaft works okay you seen that the shaft was going really quick and then he put his hand and it started pushing the product so that's what it does it knows when there's empty product and this is more travel speed okay so right now in order we're gonna do that again and he's, he's gonna switch it in order to switch while it's working you have to pull out Okay, you pull out, then turn. So right now he's gonna, he just increased it. You see it go faster. Now he's gonna increase it more. So the higher the number he does, the, the more the shaft moves. So you only wanna move the speed here while it's working. That's the ideal time to change the speed. When it's moving, you change it. If you move it more higher here, this is gonna travel faster. So this is the travel of the shaft, and this is the pressure, the amount of pressure that it puts on the product. So depending on your product, that this is how you adjust. But ideal, you want to put it between. Uh, you want to put it between. Right there, between uh, around three. Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, how to remove. The, the the blade to change the blade for sharpening and to also change uh, the grid knives uh, right now this is set up with um, sharpened we sharpened every single knife uh, grid knife here and this is a brand new blade this is brand new all these rollers are brand new you got to keep an eye on these rollers keep an eye on these rollers if there's a lot of wear and tear you need to replace them or else you're gonna ruin the grid set so keep an eye on on these parts here and here okay so now you need a rubber hammer in order to do that again I'm gonna show you that you're going to hit over here to remove okay no when you're tightening no need to uh, tighten too hard so this is how he removes that blade so you, okay just one knock is enough okay one knock is enough to tighten the, the, the blade now we're gonna show you how to uh, remove this I'm gonna look at the blade and how the setting is right here keep an eye on this part here because eventually this is gonna do wear and tear so you want this nice and straight this part here can be replaced you don't have to get a whole new blade that depends on how much is being uh, resharpened here but this part here, keep an eye on it. Uh, when you put it on, you also got to match it with its flat part over here. So you can't get it wrong. You can't make a mistake when you're taking out the blade and putting it back on. All right, so now we've taken out the main blade. That's called the main blade. And we're going to show you how to take out the grid set and how to put it back on. Wait. So what uh, you see here, what I'm going to show you how this setting is. You look at each grid uh, set, this means under, 
and then you have this one here which has looks like an O that means over so that means this one is on the outer part the first one and the one with the U is the under part so that's how it looks so now in order to take the knife you got to make sure that this is aligned this way you might have to move a little bit of the shaft here and then it comes out nicely okay look at how it falls okay you just push that up like that okay so um, that's the whole grid set like that we're just going to show you how to take out the grid set now keep an eye that these blades here they're facing downwards that's it there okay so you got to keep an eye on these rollers over here they're all uh, we replaced any any of the rollers that were supposed to be replaced you see that they're nice in good condition they're new rollers and that's because they are always moving back and forth keep an eye on this if you see that this too much wear and tear on these they need to be replaced I would recommend to replace these more often than anything because if you do not replace this then you're gonna break these teeth over here you're gonna break your grid and if you break your grid it's much cheaper to replace these than to replace a whole grid set so putting it back on so this is the main one it's lying down like that and now we grab the uh, under and you're gonna you're going to align make sure hold on you're going to make sure that you're going to align this with this okay or this one sorry and then you just slide it through it falls into place again you're looking for the uh, the the one that says over that means it goes on top and you put it the opposite direction and it falls into place now you can uh, see that they won't come off once they're into locked in okay now just see because it's in this right position it'll just fall in nicely and you can move it that way like you just did you see that there it's uh it's okay on one side but on the other one it's like that so what he's gonna do is he just adjusts it like that and now he's gonna there you go it's gonna fall right into place once it's there you can do exactly as he's doing right now and you see that everything's moving correctly he's gonna loosen it so that he can put on the main blade now okay so now putting on the main blade as you can see it's very easy to find the spot because it has that back part there that has the flat facing okay if you get it in the wrong spot you can see that it doesn't go in so he's gonna it's gonna fit right snugly there we go and then you just knock it in give it a, a, a small just a small tap that's it that's it that's all you need and that's how you uh, um, work with the grid set now we're, we're going we've shown you what this looks like on the inside we will be putting the cover here okay there is a magnet over here as well there is a magnet over here that makes the machine work this is the a brand new we got this brand new which was uh, missing from the machine as you can see this is a brand new magnetic when this magnet magnet touches this part over here it'll start so this is how you put this on it has to be on an angle when it's uh, on an angle position you're able to t take it up completely and uh, and put it on so in order to work with the machine that's how you work with the machine once it makes contact over here the machine will start okay the machine will not start unless it feels the contact of the magnet uh, right here so this is a magnet right here once that magnet touches that's the signal for the machine to start and uh, that's the machine working well this is um, this is the machine ready to go excellent condition